What's up, nation? This is Scraps from Griffin Mods, and I have a rather interesting review for you guys today. New Nerf Z-Bombs from the Zombie Strike line. I had no idea these were even out until I came across them at my local Target today, so I figured I'd pick them up and do a review for you guys. The box is pretty simplistic. It has the standard Zombie Strike design scheme. Up here it has the Nerf logo. It says, get ready for a zombie attack in multiple languages. Down here we have the Zombie Strike logo and it says Z-Bomb. On the sides of the box it shows the different types of Z-Bombs that are available. And on the back it has our blueprint design and it simply says collect them all and includes two Z-Bombs. So let's open them up and see what these things are all about. In this box it looks like we have a half of a football that looks like it's been stuffed with dynamite, which is kind of cool. And some kind of a buzzsaw blade. In the other box, we have something that looks like a cross between a grenade and an atom bomb. And we also have one that looks like a brick wrapped in tape. If you look closely at any one of the Z-Bombs, you'll see that there's fine print that says produced by Perpetual Play Group under license from Hasbro. And what that means is that these are some of the new products that Nerf is licensing out to other vendors. And that's good news for us because that should mean a little bit more diversity in the Nerf lineup. Uh, the next question that some of you may have is why is Nerf making these? And that's because in the HVZ community on college campuses, people traditionally use rolled up socks as grenades. And so clearly they're trying to tap into some of that market, or at least a younger version of it. And in my opinion, if you're going to throw something soft at somebody and call it a grenade, you might as well have it be something that looks cool, right? So I guess the next question is, how well do they throw? Let's take a look. Here at Griffin Mods, typically when I show you guys a range demonstration, I like to give you something to compare it to. So here's a rolled up sock. It's actually quite a bit lighter than our Z-Brick, uh, which means that the Z-Brick should throw a little bit better. Think of it as a wiffle ball compared to a tennis ball. So let's see how it goes. There's our sock, and here's our Z-Brick. So the Z-Brick definitely throws a little bit better than the sock. Something I forgot to mention about the Z-Bombs is that they are in fact made from the same type of squishy foam that Nerf uses in their footballs. So they will be subject to the same durability issues. The difference with the Z-Bombs, however, is that when they get all dinged and beaten up, it's not such a big deal because they're supposed to look that way. My final verdict on the Z-Bombs, they're better than socks. So I think that about wraps it up. If you guys like the video, please subscribe. And of course, Thank you very much for watching.